Hey there you great people, I hope you're doing awesome. Uh, if you're watching this video then hopefully you just watched my last video that went up not long ago, which was again from the Dick Henry show of the army um, consignment, like sort of sign up for the army video, the little short one I've just done. I'm going to follow up as promised, I said in that video I'll follow up with another Dick Emery uh, show video and this one is Blackpool the Seaside. If you wonder where Blackpool is by the way, obviously it's in England. Where I grew up from being born to um, 12 years old was in Greater Manchester uh, and this place Blackpool by the Seaside here was about 45 minutes away from where I was born uh, and we used to go a couple of times a year uh, for the illuminations which is I think it's the end of October, they have the Christmas light switch on and it's a great big massive long strip along the seafront with mil literally probably millions, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit but there's a lot of lights, maybe tens of thousands of lights which they switch on same day, same time every year or have a celebrity normally um, switch the lights on for them. So yeah, I know this place well, I've been visited what, once, twice a year for many years from being born um, to Blackpool so this should be fun. As we know by now, I've been doing these reactions, well this is my fifth reaction to the Dick Emery show now and from the comments and everything else, it's been pretty damn popular and people have been enjoying it. Well, I've had a great laugh to the point of almost crying with laughter, uh, I know some of you have as well so that's good. I'd like to also give a quick shout out to my most recent subscriber who subscribed I think today, maybe yesterday, uh, I think it was today, uh, Hazza Philp. Thank you so much for subscribing and supporting my channel. Thank you. Let's get on with the video anyway. Let's watch it. We know it's going to be fun. And this is by the seaside as well. <coughs> That's the live screen. There's the old man. Freaking hell, he's got a lot of clothes on, say it's hot in summer. <laughs> it's not just the ball that's bouncing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what? It's not sun cream, mate, it's ice cream. <laughs> that dirty, grubby old cat. Put it away. I guess that was this cat. The two people I've just got up are thinking, we're not getting involved if, with this, we're just going to go, yeah, I'll leave them to it, yeah. Presents. Well, don't you come your airs and graces with me. I know all about you Londoners. My first husband was one of them until I divorced him. I remember she's saying, I know all about you Londoners because London is way down south from Blackpool and she's obviously from Blackpool. You can hear the northern accent uh, in her voice. Well, if he was one of them, I'm surprised you married him in the first place. <laughs> 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 that young lady looks as if she's got her water wings on back to France. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty old beggar. Hey. <laughs> I think it's disgusting the way you men come up here from London with only one thought in your minds to prey on the flower of northern women and have a bit on the side. <laughs> or on the sand. <laughs> All in the sand. Yes, well, I must admit the thought did cross my mind as I started off for Blackpool. Don't tell me it's taken you 40 years to get to here. No, oh, man. You know, you must be the rudest, nastiest person <laughs> I've ever had the misfortune to encounter. <laughs> There's only one thing I've got to say to you. And what's that? Would you like to come and have a drink? Well, since you twisted me arm. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> you got a drink, yeah. You twisted my arm. In other words, deal. Guest house. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Are you the proprietor of this boarding house? Guest house. All right, guest house. I am. I am from yeah. the Weights and Measures, the department that deals with the Trades Descriptions Act. Oh, yeah. We note from your advertisement in the Holiday Guide that this establishment is a mere stone's throw from the sea. That's right. May I point out, it has taken me exactly six and a half minutes hard pedalling to get here from the front. <laughs> Hang about. 
And by the front, he means from the seafront. The guy has said in the description for his, like, guest house hotel thing, merely a stone throw away, which normally means, like, you know, a few hundred yards from the actual uh, ocean, from the beachfront. Um, so he's going to try and prove a point here, I think. Oh, no, he's got a catapult. <laughs> Straight in the sea. A stone throw away, right? Good morning. By the way, if you don't know what teetotal means, in England, teetotal means I literally never drink, ever. Apparently, that's what she's trying to say, yeah? With a pint in her hand, yeah? Or a whole table full of empty... Freaking hell! Down in one. These shows like this back from the 70s, they're so sexist, aren't they? You know, just looking at the woman for the looks. And yeah, that is important a lot of time, but it's always personality, you know. It's like a couple of dirty old men, I'm sorry, but looking at like uh, younger women um, from the sidelines, they're playing tennis, you know, it's mad. They're beautiful, she's loaded. It's <laughs> worth half a million. Good Lord, all that money as well, eh? <laughs> To be honest, I think he's the one that's not got long left to live. Do you know what I mean? A few, probably a few weeks or a few minutes looking at him, to be honest. She looks fit and healthy to me. I think he's going to be the one that's going to be going first. Looking at this. Hey. Yeah, right. Call that three seconds to live. He's gone. So this isn't your first visit to Blackpool, then? Oh, no, no. We stayed here a few days years ago, when the wife was alive. We stayed at one of them boarding houses. <laughs> I swore I'd never come back, though. Why was that? Well, at the end of the week, when the landlady presented the bill, at the bottom it said... You should crew it half a crown. I said, what's this? I said, we never use the crew. Crew it, by the way, I think, is a silver service, you know, like a uh, silver teapot, uh, cops and all the rest, you know. I think that's what it is. For having tea, you know, the drink of tea in the morning. She said, well, it was there if you wanted it. So when it came to settling up, I said, I've knocked 30 bob off for your husband's use of my wife. She said, what are you talking about? You never used your wife? I said, well, she was there if he wanted it. <laughs> Like the crew it's set. <laughs> oh, on the pier. I've been on this pier as well, but I think it burnt down in the late 1980s, so this it's a newer pier now. Well, here's the Cockney from London. You've got the straight, have you? Yes, Dad. Well, we've got a cop this hundred acre prize, right? Right, Dad. Right. <laughs> now, my line will be the one with this big red foot on it. Yeah, you know, clever, Dad. Just runs the family, son. Runs the family. Yeah, yeah right. Now, there's the money. Uh, off you go, down to the fish muffins. Right, Dad. Give me that, 
I'm guessing you understand what's going on here. Uh, on Blackpool Pier, they have the fishing competition. This for £100 back then, which in the 1970s, that would probably be the equivalent of probably about £1,000 now. It's a lot of money, yeah? About a thousand quid, thousand pound. <coughs> but obviously, he's going to send his son to the fishmongers, yeah? To get some nice, fresh, but not alive fish to try and swing his way into winning this competition, apparently. <coughs> <laughs> Does he so? Oh, that's good. The size, the size that looks dead. Oh, it's a shark, isn't it? <laughs> what an idiot that son is. When he said send him to the fishmongers, he meant to get a massive great big cod or something. Literally go to where his float was, pick the float out, stick the hook in a proper fish's mouth, not a box of freaking kipper. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's unprecedented, I must admit, but life is unusual. Yes, it, yes, it's unusual. Why? Yes, I don't know. <laughs> Who's throwing him in? Dad, I think I got it wrong again. You did. Uh -huh. I hope you enjoyed that video anyway. Like I said on the video just now, the army one, I said I'd do another one reaction to these uh, awesome Dick Emery show uh, videos and clips, yeah? So I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you're not already subscribed, remember I said, please do subscribe. Yeah, it's completely free and I'll try and bring you the best of the best as much as I can, yeah. I do put a lot of effort into this channel and it's for all you great people out there that are subscribed, watch my videos for liking them and hit the notification bell. Uh, it's important, yeah. Also go ahead and check out the rest of my great content and playlists on this Paul B. Hosson 85 and do not forget to like, especially subscribe and please hit that notification bell. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of your day.